Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea, we all know that. And I'm just a lady with a bulldog a camera and too many opinions. And what is one of those opinions? That I am basically here, I mean, this is a fact actually, I am basically here to make you aware, the consumer aware of sketchy things on the internet. And what is one of those sketchy things on the internet? People trying to take your info. So I've actually been working on a video going over not just like MLM scams and stuff like that, but red flags regarding internet scams in general, right? Are they trying to spoof your account? Are they trying to completely hack you? Are they trying to take all your money? Are they trying to get your information and then sell it to someone else so that some person in Jamaica can try to call you and tell you that you won the lottery and then have you send them gift cards. So I've been working on that video and in my research for that video, I was like, you know what? You know who would be a great sponsor for this video is Aura. And in talking with them and doing more research on that topic itself, thanks to Duke University and them publishing a 12 month long study about how those data broker websites were collecting personal information of US military members and their families and selling it. So like I said, we're all about keeping each other safe over here on this channel. So I wanted to go over that today and go over that research and then how we can keep you safe. So let's get into it. Popping in real quick to just make it clear so we're FTC compliant that this video is sponsored by Aura, as you can tell by the description box. And Aura, as you know, is a digital safety tool, but much more than that. And I'm gonna tell you how you can get a 14 day free trial with Aura and let them do the hard work for you and keep you safe on the internet from these crazies and these data brokers online, like we're about to see who are just selling your information all over the place right behind our backs, right in our own backyard. It's wild. Okay, let's continue with this crazy information. So one thing that I did think was pretty cool was that in this research that they were doing, they, I don't wanna say they did like a bait and switch, but they basically caught them red-handed. So these US-based data broker websites and companies were legally, not illegally, but legally advertising the military members, their families, the veterans as well, their personal information, they're advertising that for sale. So what these spicy researchers did was went ahead and set up a .asia domain and email addresses to go along with that and then contacted those data brokers that are in the US and then went ahead and offered to buy that from them. And guess who accepted? Yeah, isn't that crazy? That's like, what? What are you doing? I tell ya. <laughs> Military families, military wives, they ain't safe. Not only are they targeted by multi-level marketing companies, like real crazy, ridiculously, their personal information is being, I was about to say stolen, but sold to other countries. What are you doing? So you might be thinking, oh, well, if it's just like their name and email and like phone number, what are they gonna do with that? Like what could, what could a scammer, whoever, they could actually do a lot with that information, but what could they do with that information? Like how much harm are you actually gonna do? So it wasn't just that, it was a lot more information than that. When I say personal information, I don't just mean like your contact information. So it was not only their first and last names, their home address, their phone numbers, their email addresses. It's also the like purchase price of the home, the value of their home, interest in charitable donations, also their marital status. If one company's doing it, there's more than likely so many others doing it as well. So this is just, you know, a well-researched example of this that Duke University came up with. They were able to buy all of that information from that one company, 10,000, 10, 10,000 service members information. And now when I first read that, I was like, how much would that have cost? You think your information is expensive? No, 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 <laughs> it's not. They sold it for 12 cents per record. Like that's what your personal information's valued at. Like it's that cheap for them to buy your information. So if you're thinking, okay, that's pretty bad. Don't worry, it gets worse actually with this instance. They also found that some of the records had medical conditions, hobbies, credit score, political affiliation, which most likely that would have just been what they were, what party like they're registered as, but still. So then further than that, <laughs> religious affiliation, gender identity, sexuality or sexual preference, what they identify as, all that. Address and contact information of family members, children, previous addresses. And like if they're interested in gambling, tr international travel, traveling in general, and then other super specific pieces of information as well. And the one thing that really creeps me out is seeing that another thing that was included in this was the detailed geolocation data that is also sold with that. So based off your phone, these data brokers know where you are, where you're moving, where you're going, and they sell that information. 
Y'all know, like I've said a billion times, I'm all about, especially with my husband as well, y'all should see our new security system. But I won't show you because that would put me at risk. But it is amazing. <laughs> We are, we are obsessed with it. Our cameras, way too many cameras, but we want to feel safe. We want to feel protected. We don't want our information to be out there. And obviously that's, you know, why I love having Aura as a sponsor. I'm able to use it. I would use it anyways, even if they stop sponsoring me, but it makes it so easy to do those checks to make sure your information is not out there, to scrub that and you not having to go on there and do it. So it's such a big time saver as well, but you really don't understand how much of your information is out there. So y'all know, I always, say like, don't post the front of your house. Don't, don't post like, oh, I take this way home. If you're traveling, don't say when you're traveling out on a date. I personally don't ever post when I am somewhere until I've left that place or like until we're on our way home or something like that. Especially having a child now, obviously with my fur child with Wiggum, I was very protective as well, but even more so now with him, I'm hyper aware even more than I was before as is Tony too. And just the idea that these data brokers would have access to that geolocation and those pings and those tags of that location, it's so creepy. So just knowing that they would have access to that information and are just selling it is truly wild, especially because being a public figure myself, but even if you're not a public figure, people having access to that information of where you're going or your possible routine, you know, if they see a trend and a place you go to get her car washed every Tuesday and, you know, goes to this grocery store, like creeps and stalkers. And even if you're not a public figure like me, even if you're just a normal, beautiful private citizen or a military member or you know anyone that information being out there and people knowing that about you and your trends and where you're going that just leaves you open to stalking and harassment and people being creeps like i said and obviously you know i relate that to my experiences and me you know being a public figure but also think about it i mean military members first responders even higher than that i mean military members who have like high clearance and stuff like that you're just gonna sell their location to a different country. And then also another aspect of this too is finding, you know, let's say they're trying to ping who's been at certain rallies or fundraisers, you know, in regards to like political affiliation or in regards to religious affiliation or trying to find people who have pinged at this gay club. That's just asking for a hate crime. Like it's wild. As you can see, that's why I'm making a whole video about it. It's so spooky. This also kind of reminds me of the situation where a lot of people were kind of worried or maybe sketched out or maybe didn't understand the risk when discussing TikTok and how, yes, it is a Chinese company. Of course, they do have offices here in the US, but then also one of the main concerns about it was they are having access to people's data, their information because of this app being on their phone. And a lot of people aren't realizing that geolocation and personal information and all that is something that they could access and, you know, change those terms of service. And guess what? It's already on your phone. Oh, well. And of course there is the argument of like, oh, well, what are these people going to do with this information? Or one thing I've said before is, well, listen, the government assigns me a number when I'm born. So if they want to find me, they'll find me. But again, it's more so this specific information. And that's personally why I love that this research paper that was published by Duke really goes into like, no, this is this is what it is. This is why it's serious. And this is how like harmful it could be. Because of course, it's always important to stay vigilant, to be aware of situations around you, not only physically and in person, but then also online as well. And obviously for everyone in general, but then also for military members too, for instance, here's an example of the key term hits, like what people are searching on these data broker websites. And the top one is military, and then there's veteran, and then there's elderly, and then opportunity seekers, sweepstakes. So you can kind of get like the gist, like just looking at this, you're like, oh, that's weird. They searched all this. But then it's like, oh, you're basically just looking for who you can scam. And that's that's really, really unfortunate. Now, obviously there needs to be steps taken by lawmakers <laughs> to protect us and our personal information. But are we gonna wait around for that to happen? No, because that would take forever. Also keep in mind, I will have this document linked down below so that y'all can read it over. I found it fascinating. It was quite the rabbit hole and super, super spooky. But one way that you can protect yourself and really be proactive about that, protect you, your information, all that is by using the sponsor of today's video, who is Aura, if you couldn't already guess. 
Aura is an all-in-one digital safety tool, which I'm sure you already know because they have been a sponsor of my channel for almost a year now, I wanna say. I'm pretty, yeah, I've been using it for about a year, so almost a year now. And they can identify those data brokers for you who are exposing your private and personal information. And you can opt in for those opt-out requests and basically have them scrub those websites and take care of that for you and have that information removed because legally, these data brokers do have to give you the option to have your information removed. However, they make it so hard, so hard. It is so annoying. So why not let Aura handle that for you so that you can stay safe on the interwebs and in turn, stay safer in person in the real world too. Aura is a US-based company with 100% US-based customer service and they are available 24 seven. Aura also does so much more than just opt-out requests and scrubbing your information like that. They also keep you safe with VPNs, password management, parental controls, so you can see what people are doing. There's also credit and identity monitoring, antivirus tools, and much more. You get everything at one affordable price and the peace of mind of knowing that plans include $1 million of identity theft insurance for each adult, up to five adults and a family plan. And another thing that's great is that all of that is in one spot with Aura. So you're not having to use one site for password management, one for VPN, one for antivirus, one for having everything scrubbed. It's all in one spot. Also, their user interface is super friendly, which I love. So make sure you go to aura.com slash ccsuarez to start your 14 day trial for free. Y'all know I love Aura. Y'all know I am ridiculous when it comes to safety and keeping my information offline and all that, which obviously is a little bit harder when you're a public figure, but safety on the internet is extremely important to me and I trust Aura and I think you should let them do the hard work for you by going ahead and going to that link Aura.com slash CC Suarez for that free 14 day trial, just for giggles. In the comments below, after you sign up for that, see how much of your information is out there. Cause it's crazy. When I, I remember last year when I first signed up for it, I was like, oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm great. I'm not going to see anything on there. There was, there was, there was, there was, <laughs> there was, but thankfully now there's not because I take care of it. But obviously if something pops up, they take care of it. So that is it for today's video. I really hope y'all liked falling down a little bit of a rabbit hole with me and learned something. Like I said, I'll have that study, that research paper from Duke University in the description box. So definitely check that out because it's a rabbit hole. It's crazy. Keep yourself safe. Thank you, Aura, again for sponsoring this video. Stay spicy. Stay assertive. Keep those boundaries up. Go touch grass if you're mad. And I will see you in my next video.